Chapter 2. The story flashes back to when they were kids. The narrator, Hassan, are friends, and they are always climbing poplar trees. Hassan has a round face and a flat nose, described as a Chinese doll. He also has a cleft lip. That's where the upper lip doesn't fully form before birth. Hassan is really good with a slingshot. They'd shoot at a neighbor's dog, and Hassan's father, Ali, would get mad at them. Amir, the narrator, lives in a really rich area, and his father, Baba, is a very wealthy man. He built a magnificent house and always has parties. He often talks with his best friend and business partner, Rahim Khan. He's the guy who called in chapter one. Hassan and his father live in a tiny shack on Baba's property. Hassan was even born in that shack. He's one year younger than Amir. We also learn that Amir's mother died in childbirth. Hassan's mother is also missing, but she ran away with a group of singers and actors. Hassan never talks about his mother, but one day they were walking by a movie theater and a soldier called out to Hassan calling him a Hazara. The soldier said he knew Hassan's mother, Sanabur, and started joking about it, and he started crying. Amir admits everyone thought that Hassan's mother was very pretty, but also very friendly with men. Hassan's father had a limp from polio and had an ugly face. Everyone thought Ali and Hassan's mother were in an arranged marriage because she was so pretty, and he was so ugly. One important part in this chapter is that it shows that Hassan is Hazara, and that Amir is Pashtun. This is important because Hazara is seen as a lower class to the Pashtun. Amir and Hassan grew up together and even had the same nurse growing up. Amir's first words were Baba, his father, and Hassan's first words were Amir. 